Hi, I'm Rebecca in the Keys with Florida Keys Television TV 88, and today we're going to make some Florida Keys sushi and sashimi. Sushi includes rice right here. You're going to need rice if you want to make sushi. You also need some nori. You can order this online. You can also get it at some of our local stores. It's kind of hard to find, um, but you can get this maybe at Publix. All right, you're going to need some pickled ginger right here. You can get this at Publix. You can also get it online. You're going to need some spicy mayonnaise sauce here. Uh, you don't need it, but it's really good. I like it a lot. Here's a little bit of wasabi. You can either get this in a smaller tube, you can get it in a powder, or you can get it in a little bottle like this. All right, if you're gonna make sushi, you also need some sushi rollers. You can get those online. Uh, this comes with it. I don't usually use it, but this comes with it here. And then you can get, um, let's see, some ponzu sauce right here. This is really good for sashimi. Also for sashimi, toasted sesame seeds. That puts the final touch on it very good garnish and makes it tasty. And then of course the staple of sushi and sashimi, here we go with some soy sauce. I also have a mango and some cream cheese. These are two of my favorites to put into sushi. I'm gonna focus on the sashimi, but if we get a chance, we're gonna cut these up. We're gonna put it into some sushi also so you can see some flavorful options for making your own Florida Keys sushi at home. All right, so I think we've got everything here. Oh, wait a minute. We're missing one thing. Fish. Well, we're in the Florida Keys. Let's go get some. All right, I'm aboard my Key Largo 150 that I use to go in the bay. And what we're going to do today is we are going to be looking for the elusive and the dangerous mangrove snapper. Okay, I could do this by myself. I could go fishing by myself just like you can. But, what fun is that? I've enlisted the help of one of my wild women on the water friends. Peggy, come on down, let's go fishing! It's great, come on down! All right, come on, let's go find some fish. I put up, I got up this morning, I put my bathing suit on, so I knew it was gonna be a good day. <laughs> You're all, all right. set. Thanks, Brent. All right, thank you. Have a great day. Good luck. You too. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Okay, we have our first mangrove snapper of the day. What we need to do now is we need to measure it to see if it's 10 inches because it needs to be 10 inches or bigger in order to keep it. Put his nose up at zero, and his head is, his tail is ten and a half inches right there. So he's a keeper. So what I like to do, because I'm a little bit conservation minded, and I really appreciate the fish in the ocean, I tell him thank you, thank you in advance for our wonderful sushi meal. And then when I put him in the cooler, I tell him to go toward the light. So say goodbye to Mr. Mangrove Snapper right here. You'll see him again on a plate. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to cut a mango, or at least how I cut my mangoes. First of all, you have your mango right here. You look for the flat side, okay? You're gonna find the seam. If you look for the flat turf side, you can tell, then you go about six inches from the little, um, I don't know what you call it, the little where it broke off right there, and you just cut straight through like this, okay? Now here's what I do. I've never seen anybody do it like this before, but I think it's easier. You shave off a little bit right here, okay? You can cut that, um, cut that out in a second. And then what you do is you go around, you take the knife in and you follow the skin right here. You follow, follow, follow. So you just follow it all the way around. You lift the skin out right here and you're left with the great part of the mango. And then you can just slice this up right here. So now we're gonna fillet Mr. Fish that we just caught. He's been on ice. What you want to do is you want to make a diagonal cut from the top 
the bottom. You'd really, I'm not the best filleter, but I'll show you if you want to make some quick sushi, if you want to do some Florida Keys sushi, I'll show you how I do it here. All right, so you make this little cut right here, this incision. Okay, you're going to cut right along his spine right here. Okay, you cut along his belly right there. You don't want the organs there. You don't, you're not gonna keep the organs. You're just gonna peel this back, okay? You wanna take long strokes right here rather than the sawing motion that you saw me doing earlier. You take it and you want to just cut like this. All right, you've got your little piece of meat here. You feel around. Okay, I feel some some more bones right in here. Okay. Then we're just gonna rinse off this part right here and this is gonna be some of our sashimi. Okay, so now we've got our fish meat all filleted up right here. Again, we didn't get a whole lot of fish today. So we're just gonna make a little appetizer, but you're gonna get the gist because you can maybe catch more fish than I can. So what I think I'm gonna do today is I'm going to take this ponzu sauce right now um, and I'm going to put it on the little fish pieces right there so we can pick them up and we can eat them. Okay, we're gonna take our toasted sesame seeds. This is a very, very simple dish to make, right? And then you just sprinkle your toasted sesame seeds right there. And we are gonna have the freshest sushi ever recorded right now. And if you're an older person, this is good for fiber. Good for fiber. <laughs> <laughs> These are fancy ones. Yeah. Okay, ready? It's for you. How is it? Mm. Is that good? Mm, melts in your mouth. Oh, that's good. You take this, you cut it into four pieces here and then here. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to simulate sushi by making a little bit of a sushi taco, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of rice here, I'm just gonna, just a slight amount of rice right there. As you take one or two of these little pieces here. Okay, and so I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take a piece of mango right here. I'm gonna stick some mango in with my sushi. And I'm gonna have a tropical Florida Keys little sushi taco type roll. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on Me it. Too. You too, all right, there you go. Mm -hmm. Then you just fold it up like a taco, here. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mmm. How's that? Fingers looking good.